Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager at Law MacArthur Ford. In this video, we're going to talk about the 2016 Ford F-150. Now, this is the second video in a, a part a series that we have on our F-150 where we talk about the different trim models. If you haven't a chance yet, the XL we did last week. Uh, so do check that out if you'd like to look at that. This in here, we're going to talk about the XLT. And in coming weeks, we're going to talk about the other trim models as well. Um, but sit back, we're going to enjoy and show you what's standard on an XLT, also what different packages, equipment groups are available, and what different options you can get on an F-150 XLT. So sit back, enjoy, and hopefully this helps you with get a good idea of how you want to equip your next XLT F-150. Okay, first we'll get started with just the basic configuration of the truck. Of course, all your F-150s come in three different cab styles. Your regular cab, which is your two-door. Your super cab, which is your four-door, but you, it comes when you, the back doors open up only after you open up the front doors. And then your super crew comes in your full four-size doors here, uh, like you're seeing with this truck here. So those are your three cab styles. Uh, different bed lengths, uh, your regular cab and super cab come in either a six and a half foot bed or the longer eight foot bed. And your super crew, you can get the five and a half foot bed or the six and a half foot bed. Also, they've come in either a four wheel drive or two wheel drive. If you look for the four wheel drive, uh, that does come with uh, the neutral tow capabilities with your shift on the fly. And so, if you are wanting to pull a truck or get a vehicle that you can pull behind your motorhome, uh, four by fours come with neutral towing. So, that's a good information for you to have. Uh, and don't forget, they all come with a six speed automatic transmission with tow haul mode. Uh, and they come with an, you can get an optional select shift transmission as well. So you, if you want to go in that select shift mode, uh, you can look at that, those options as, as well. There are four engines available on the F-150. Uh, even on the XLT, you can get all, different, all of the four engines. Uh, standard engine is your 3.7 liter V6 uh, regular aspirated engine. Um, and that is going to have 280 horsepower, 250 foot-pound of torque. And it's going to tow about 7,600 pounds, I think, is the max trailer towing capabilities for that. The other option is you can get a 2.7 liter uh, V6 EcoBoost engine. Uh, very good engine. It's uh, first year was in 2015. It comes with the start uh, stop mode and that's where uh, auto start stop is what they call it. So when you come up to a stop sign, it's going to go ahead and shut off for you. And then when you let go of the brake to go ahead and, and move forward, it's going to start it up right away. So I uh, drove that one for a while. It's a great vehicle uh, to drive, a uh, great way of saving some gas. Now, a lot of people don't want that because they say, well, it's underpowered. Uh, but actually, it has 325 horsepower and 375 foot-pound of torque. And so it's, it'll tow up to 8,500 pounds. So that's plenty of towing for a lot of people to, to use. It's a great truck if, if you pretty much just drive your truck in the city, um, but you're going to need to, to tow some uh, here and there. 8,500 pounds is a lot. That's like having a car on a trailer pulling behind that, and it's, it can pull that. So that's a good, good engine to have. You can also go, if you want a little more towing, the 5.0 liter V8 engine, uh, which you've had for years. Now uh, it has 375 horsepower and 300 or no sorry 385 horsepower and 387 foot pound of torque so uh, just a little bit more of torque uh, than the um, 2.7 liter v v6 ecoboost um, but the towing capabilities is 11,100 pounds so that's if you're wanting to tow a lot that might be the one for you and of course you can get the ecoboost so if you're really wanting the max to, uh, towing you can get the 3.5 liter uh, v6 ecoboost engine is uh, a little bit more it's going to have 425 foot-pound of torque and three, uh, I believe it's 365 uh, horsepower on it and it's going to be able to tow uh, 12,200 pounds. So uh, I think I got all those numbers right on those but uh, so very capable engines. Uh, they've all been tested and, and proven so I think you're going to you won't go wrong on any of those engines that you want but that gives you a good idea what you're looking for. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and move forward and show you the exterior of the truck, uh, what's standard on all XLTs and we're going to kind of some of the stuff is carried over from XL, but we won't really cover that. We'll just kind of tell you what's, uh, what's standard on this uh, XLT truck. Now here at the front, what's uh, really uh, different and what's going to stand out from the XL is your grill. 
Uh, now you're going to get the chrome grill on your XLT, which is really nice. It's the three bar grill uh, here with your, it's got your mesh inserts here that's black on the, on what they call it, the nostrils. And you're going to have chrome surround. And you're also going to have chrome bumpers front and back as well. So that's, that's going to be your, the big differentiation of your XLT from your XL. Also on your mirror, your headlights, automatic headlights, which actually is uh, something that the XL gets. And it comes with the rain lamp. And what the rain lamp is, is when you turn your wipers on, those headlights are going to come on automatically for you, um, which is here in the state of Kansas. It's a law. If you have the wipers on, you have to have your headlights. So you don't have to worry about it. They're going to turn on for you. Also standard is your fog lights too, to go along with that. So um, real nice setup there in the front. Makes it look really sharp and really good. Now your wheel, uh, this is a little misleading because we don't really have any trucks with the standard wheel. The standard wheel is a 17 inch alloy wheel. Uh, this in here has the optional 20 inch wheel, which we'll talk about different wheel options later. But uh, so you have an alloy wheel as standard equipment. Moving to your mirror, you are going to have a black mirror cap uh, mirror. Uh, power mirror is going to be manual fold. Uh, this in here has a couple options we're going to talk about in a little bit later uh, that, that are a little bit of an upgrade. But the standard mirror is your uh, power mirror with your uh, black mirror caps. So, Also you're going to have your uh, keyless entry uh, available with the uh, remote keyless entry with the key flip um, remote. So that's going to be your standard to get in and out of the vehicle as well. So. Um, to kind of finish the outside of the truck and before we move inside, you also have standard is the uh, privacy glass here on the back glass. The front windows will be, uh, will have your standard glass, um, but you're going to have your, a nice privacy glass on the back glass, which is real nice. Uh, and then box link. Box link is the last thing here as we open the, the back of the bed. Uh, really nice system. Um, so you're going to have the, the brackets are going to be here already, ready for that box link system. So if you want to tow something, you want to have the uh, rails and such, they can be uh, added to this. But that, this here is going to be standard, so you don't have to worry about having and ordering that on it or anything. So that's standard equipment. Let's go ahead and move on the inside and show you what's standard on the interior. Okay, now moving to the interior, uh, a lot of these things are what you normally see on an XLT. Of course, you get your power windows, power locks. Uh, power mirrors like we already talked about. Now your power windows do uh, come with auto one touch for your front window so you just press the button and they're going to go down automatically so uh, that adds to that. Of course also cruise control which on the F-150 is on here on the left side of the steering wheel which is real nice and, and easy to get to and then Microsoft the the sync technology also here on the right side so you can Bluetooth connect your phone make and receiving those phone calls and you can even you, know, you take care of uh, some other audio features here by using that Bluetooth. Uh, so that's a real nice system too. Uh, electronic climate control, your air conditioning. Uh, what I like about this is that you can see everything's lit up so you can kind of see where it's at instead of having the, the, the line so you know where it is. It, you, everything kind of lights up so you know what, what's, uh, what's, where the air is coming from, where it's flowing from and that kind of thing. So it's a real nice system as well. Of course AM FM with your CD player. You're going to have four speakers on a regular cab, six speakers on a super cab or super crew to go along with that uh, system too. So some real nice systems. And if you do have the 2.7 liter V6, uh, like this truck here does have, you're gonna have the, the auto uh, start stop, but you can deactivate that with the button, which is right there on the dash. So that uh, comes in real handy as well. Uh, so pretty much covers all the standard equipment. Uh, talking about the seat though, before I end, uh, this seat configuration you can see is what's optional. You can get the bucket seats with the console like this, or what the standard seat is a 40-20-40 split bench seat. Uh, and then that the backrest can, can lay down and become an armrest for you. So uh, two different seating configurations you can have on this. Uh, now this seating configuration I think is about a $300 add uh, to any of the, in the uh, trim levels that you get. So uh, keep that in mind as well. So um, I think I've covered everything that's standard on an XLT. And that we're going to do next is show you some of the things, some of the different equipment groups um, going up from here. The one we just talked about now, it's standard on all XLTs, is called the 300A package, the base model uh, XLT package. We're going to go ahead and talk about the others here uh, next. Okay, Ford likes to package a lot of their XLTs and their different trim models into, into equipment groups. Uh, of course, the first one we already covered, and that's your standard equipment, your base equipment, is the 300A. Uh, Ford also for the XLT has two other packages uh, groups, the 301A, which is the mid group, and the 302A, which is your luxury group. We're going to talk now about the mid group, which is the next step up for you. And they like to package a lot of equipment into those groups, um, things that people will want and kind of go together. And so now we're going to go in and talk about that. Now on the exterior, uh, the things that you get on the 301A package uh, enhance the mirror. 
Uh, what's really nice about this, instead of getting the power, just the manual fold power glass, now you get the heated glass, turn signal on the outside, and you also get a really nice auto dimming features for your side, driver's side view mirror, as well as your rear view mirror on the inside. So that's a great addition. Uh, makes driving a little bit nicer uh, with the, the heated features and your uh, auto dimming features. So. Uh, another thing to kind of add to that, uh, to the group, is you get your privacy glass here in your side windows uh, that go along with your back glass that you had on the, the base model. You also get rear defrost back here as well, so that's a real nice uh, package, uh, especially in the winter, that kind of go along with your heated mirror as well. Now here in the back, uh, one of the things, that probably the, the biggest reasons, plus a couple features on the inside, that we order ma mainly 301A and 302A packages, uh, is you get your backup camera with your hitch assist. So that's gonna have, of course, your, your backup camera, but it's also gonna have your lines uh, that are real nice, and they're gonna turn as you turn, so you kinda know where you're headed. And it's also gonna have a dotted line in the middle, so it kinda helps you line up your hitch. Uh, so that comes in real nicely. And another standard feature on the, the 301A package is you have your trailer hitch, trailer tow hitch, your class four, with your seven pin and your four pin wiring. And to go along with that is your smart connector. So you're going to be able to, with the productivity screen on the inside, uh, be able to set up different trailers. So if you have several different trailers that you tow, you can label each one so you kind of have a good idea of what, how it's pulling. And it will dictate and help you with your, with your towing uh, for those uh, different trailers as, as you tow more often with them. It kind of uses some of that information. So a real nice feature there. So. A couple last features you get on part of this 301A package is your power driver's seat with your power lumbar. Uh, so that's real nice. That's a feature that a lot of people are looking for. So that's why we probably sell a lot of the 301As uh, packages. Also power adjustable pedals. So those pedals are going to come forward and back for you. Um, so that's also a great uh, feature. Uh, power driver seat and your power adjustable pedals and your uh, nice leather wrapped um, tilt and telescoping steering wheel which the telescoping steering wheel is actually standard on all XLTs, but between all those features, you can really make sure you feel comfortable when you're driving down the road, so that's gonna be really nice. And last, but of course not least, is your Sirius XM radio, and that's a part of that 301A package too, and all the packages above that. So next we're gonna talk about some things that you can really uh, add to your truck to really dress it up. Now these are features that you maybe wanna look a little bit sporty, or maybe look a little, have this chrome accent. So we're gonna kinda show you those packages. We're gonna hold off on the sport package just a little bit because that is something you can add on either the 302, 300 or 301 A package. And we're gonna talk about the 302 A package which is your luxury package. And that's what this truck has on it. Now it's gonna come with remote start, which is really nice. You're gonna be able to start that car from your, out near your house when it's a cold day. Also, it's gonna get your LED box lighting. Uh, now, what's really great about that is you're gonna have a light behind your, uh, the bed uh, of the truck or behind the cab. It's gonna light it up, but the LED box lighting also brings lights from the outside to really encompass and, and make the lights uh, brighter inside the entire bed. It comes in real handy at night. Also, to kind of help you out with that, the backup camera that you got on the 301A, you're gonna get your reverse sensing system as well. So not only are you gonna be able to see behind you now, you're gonna also be able to sense when you get close to something. Just in case you're not paying attention to that, to that camera and that mirror, you're gonna be able to, to sense that. So some really great features there to go along on the outside. Probably one of the biggest things that you get, and in past years you've called it the XLT Chrome Package, uh, that's what you get as standard equipment on your 302A package, uh, which is really nice. As you see here, you're gonna have a different grill. So you're gonna have your uh, chrome billet grill. It kind of really dresses it up, makes it look sharp. Uh, I just think this just looks, uh, looks great. And this is my favorite grill of all the uh, trim models itself is this uh, nice chrome grill with the chrome accent around it. Also, of course, you're gonna get your chrome wheels. Really sharp, dresses it up, they really pop. Chrome running boards as well are gonna be standard equipment uh, as part of that XLT uh, chrome package. And of course, chrome door handles and your chrome tailgate handles as well. So you're gonna have that. So that's part of your XLT chrome package. You also get a little upgrade from the 301A to the 302 luxury package and your power seat figure configuration. So instead of your eight-way just driver's uh, power seat, now you get 10-way driver and front passenger power seat. So that's a real nice upgrade for the passenger. Also to go along with that, you get heated seats as well. So a uh, real nice comfort feature. And on these cloth seats, it heats it up so much faster than the leather seats, it seems like. And I think just because the material is so much breathable, uh, it warms up really fast. So I think you're going to like that feature too. Another thing you get is your 110 uh, outlet, uh, which is really great. It kind of upgrades from your just your power point to giving you a plug-in. And it's a uh, three-prong, so if you, it'll work for uh, laptops, uh, tablets, 
uh, any, any kind of electrical device like that, uh, cell phones and that kind of thing. So it gives you that power point and that outlet, which uh, comes in real handy. A lot of times we order even some of our 301A packages uh, with that as well because it's, it's not a real big ad, but it's a very convenient. A lot of people like that. And the other thing you get is the new Sync 3 system. So uh, you go from that, the My Ford touchscreen to the Sync 3. Uh, it is really upgrade, so from the four, going from the four quadrants of the old system to the Sync 3. Sync 3 looks more like your cell phone does. So, you know, at the bottom of most of your smartphones, you have your uh, quick touch points at the bottom. Uh, the Sync 3 system looks a lot like that. And we do have a video you can check out that we've gone completely through the Sync 3 and how to, how to work through that system and how to navigate through it uh, using that. And you can check that in our informational videos on our YouTube channel uh, for that. Uh, it's a real nice video that we, we did uh, so it's real fun uh, it's a lot better nicer system uh, a little more intuitive a little more what you're used to if you have a smartphone and so I think you're gonna like that now I want to talk about a few things you know in the past uh, F-150 has always had an STX and an FX4 package or an, its own trim level uh, and it's kind of a, a downfall you thought well I, I want that STX or I want that FX4 you can still get it uh, here's how you go about that though you get your XLT and you go ahead and get your sport appearance package. And so I'm gonna go over the sport appearance package and, and what's that's included in that. Now you can get the sport appearance package on your 301A package or 302A package, either one uh, it is available. Uh, so you can get that. Now the sport appearance package, uh, this one actually has is, is got a couple of different things. And to get this uh, other package we'll talk about, you have to get the sport appearance package first. But you normally you'd get your billet grill, but it would be black. Uh, now you, you're seeing this looks a little different. I'll cover that in just a second. But you're gonna have your black billet grill and you're gonna have your body colored bumpers here just like you're gonna see. Uh, so that, that would be part of, of what would dress up the front. Uh, now on the, around the, here on the side, uh, your running boards are gonna be an accent colored running board as well uh, to kind of dress that up. And then your door handles, just like you see on this, are gonna be body colored. So you have your body colored door handles as well as your tailgate handles are gonna be body colored. So uh, really gives it that, pretty much like what you would normally seen in the past with that STX. And so it's gonna just, uh, everything's gonna be body colored. So instead of having chrome accents, it's, you're gonna have body colored uh, uh, door handles and everything and then your front grill is going to be black so uh, looks real nice now one of the things that's really nice is that if you want that FX4 go ahead and get the sport package but then add this special edition package is what they're calling it for the XLT uh, which is really nice so you're getting this nice stripe as you're seeing here uh, you're also getting black running boards just like you would get on the original FX4 and you're getting these dark tarnished uh, alloy wheels as well so it looks really nice dresses it up and then your front grill, uh, just like we saw, oh, before you get to the front grill, you're also gonna get this nice accent F-150 emblem as well, so it really dresses it up in that red color. And then your front grill is just like we've seen already, it's gonna be your tarnished, your dark tarnished billet grill as well with the uh, surround that's the same. So it looks real sharp, looks real nice. If you're, if you're looking for that FX4 look, that's the way to get it. Get your XLT with, and you can get on, this one happens to be a 301A package, so you can get a 301A package with that sport appearance package and special edition package, and you have an FX4 looking truck. Uh, also comes with the seats as well uh, that are gonna be a cloth seat, and it's gonna have some nice accents, um, red inserts uh, just like you're seeing here. Uh, so really nice, dresses that up, looks at like that even on the interior, has that sport look for you as well. Okay, keep in mind some of the things we talked about in the 301A and 302A package are also standalone options. So they're things that maybe if you want uh, certain options, uh, just keep in mind that they are available standalone options, a lot of them are, and that you don't always have to get the entire 302A package if you want a certain equipment, uh, like your reverse sensing and such. Some of that stuff, they're, they're a standalone option. You can always get a 300A or 301A package and, and just add that as a standalone option. So keep that in mind. Uh, you can always do that. And I, Really in this video, we could have a video all on its own just to kind of go over the different configurations. Uh, but if you do have a question on that, uh, we love interacting with you on our YouTube. So just go ahead and make a comment down below and I'll answer any questions you might have and about equipment and different options that are available and is it or isn't it available. So we do interact with you and we follow up with that pretty quickly. And also if you're, if you're not on viewing this on our YouTube channel, you can uh, always call or text us on our uh, texting number which is 785 
378-5031 as well. We can help you out with that. And now what I want to do is kind of go over some of the things that you can also uh, helps you with your hauling and your towing as well. Uh, of course, your trailer tow package, uh, you're probably going to look at getting that. We mentioned earlier, I think uh, it was maybe the 302A package where you get the class 4 hitch and they get you that smart trailer connector and some things like that. Well, your tow package also gets you the uh, Pro Trailer Backup Assist, uh, which is uh, new for 2016. Uh, it's a great system if you've seen some little teaser videos and such on that. Uh, it's a great way to help you back up your trailer if you don't do that a lot uh, and by be able to turn that dial. Now, we are looking hopefully uh, forward to doing a video in the future with that. Um, of course, of course, we've got to get permission to have a trailer and pull one of these brand new trucks with the trailer to show you that. But uh, So hopefully in the future, look for that. Maybe we'll have be able to do that. But that's a big thing when you get that trailer tow package that you get and the adds to that. Uh, you also get an upgraded front stabilizer bar as well. Now your max trailer tow package is pretty much your tow package, uh, but with an EcoBoost engine. So you get that maximum trailer tow capabilities. So. Uh, now, if you're wanting trailer tow mirror, that is a standalone option. It's not part of the Max Trailer Tow in 2016, so you might want to think about getting, getting that as well. Some other things you can look at uh, for your bed, of course, spray and bed liner uh, is not something that's standard on any of the models. Uh, it's something we do here in-house. Uh, we are a certified Rhino liner dealer, so we can get spray and bed liners. You can also get, do the, uh, the drop-in liners. You can get that from Ford as well if you'd like. Uh, on your truck and some other things that to go along with uh, the truck itself in the back of it if you're wanting a box sidestep and if you maybe get a six and a half foot this is a super crew with a five and a half foot but if you get the six and a half you can get that box sidestep that'll pop out for you so you can be able to get into the back uh, in between the wheel and the cab so uh, that's a that's a nice option to have another option you can get is the bed extender uh, which basically when you lay the tailgate down it extends over so you can keep some things contained if you have this five and a half foot bed but you need a little bit more extra room and need another foot just for that trip back from the hardware store you can you know extend that out and those actually pop out from the side so they collapse now into the sides of the trucks i wish i had a truck that had that in it but uh, we don't have one of those and that is something too if you see a truck that we have and it doesn't have that it's something we can order from parts uh, as well and we can put on the truck Another thing is the tailgate uh, step, uh, which is really nice in that in, in 2015, they moved that step from being on the bed itself or on the tailgate on the top of it to being in the tailgate, which is really nice. I love how they did that and it just everything just slides right out of the tailgate, uh, real nice and easy to use. So that's another option that you can get is that tailgate step. Also integrated trailer brake controller comes in handy uh, when you're pulling that trailer, being able to have that, that, a brake for that and you can have that integrated right into the dash instead of having to attach a separate trailer brake controller. Uh, so a couple things there with the uh, trailer that kind of help you with the towing and as well as the hauling uh, of your uh, different th things that you might want to haul with your truck. Uh, some other options are your, your side steps here. You can get, now this in here we talked about the sport package gets this, the black uh, running boards, but you can also get chrome running boards. Uh, of course they are included in your XLT chrome package and you can also get a black platform running board if you'd like that as well and that's of course uh, optional on even the very base model as well. Um, some other options you can get uh, go along with the, the mirror is you can get the side spotlight which is new 2015 is a LED spotlight uh, mirror as well uh, almost looks like you, just your turn signal mirror but you just turn that on on either side from inside comes in real handy if you're a farmer you need to be able to see in your field in the evening uh, comes in real handy uh, so some people really like that feature as well another thing to go along with the mirror that you can get but you do have to have the 302a package to get and that is your bliss your blind spot monitoring system it's a great system constantly monitors your blind spots on both sides uh, so if there's somebody that's uh, in there it's going to put a light in that mirror for you uh, and then also go along with that as you're backing up as your cross traffic alert someone's coming from behind and they're about ready to approach right behind you it's going to alert you and let you know that with a series of tones uh, as you're backing up some uh, fast beeps uh, to really make you want to stop so um, so some great features uh, standalone options you can get uh, a couple other things uh, everyone's probably thinking about too is navigation so navigation is a standalone option on even a 302a package it's not included it's so you can get down on, on those uh, as well and also your moonroofs two different c configurations of your moonroof you can get the twin panel moonroof and you can also get the single panel moonroof if you'd like so a couple different options of moonroofs there and don't forget two-tone if you want two-tone paint you can get two-tone as well so 
Hopefully I've covered all your questions and, and maybe even give you even more to think about. Um, but if you're wanting to have any questions at all, uh, that's what we're here for. Uh, just give us a call here at Long MacArthur. Uh, again, that you can call or text us on our, on our number there, 785-378-5031. We have a, a BDC, a Business Development Center, that's there to answer your calls and handle those uh, during business hours. We're always going to have someone there for you. They're not going to be with a customer, out with a customer. They're going to be there ready to answer your phone calls and, and help you out. So if you have any questions on this, they're very educated. They go through all the same training that I do uh, on the different equipment, and they can answer your questions, and we can, uh, we can help you out in any way you want. Don't forget, this video is on the XLT trim model, but we do have one already out that we've uh, filmed on the XL trim model. And when, here in the future, keep an eye out for the Lariat, as well as your King Ranch Platinum, and even the limited edition truck F-150 as we uh, go here in the future, next couple of weeks. Check those out. We're gonna have those available for you. And don't forget, go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Law MacArthur. There you're gonna find lots of playlists for you that have our 2015, 2016 product uh, videos just like this one on our different vehicle uh, lineups, uh, Ford and Lincoln. Um, so check those out there. You can also check out our informational videos while you're there. Uh, like we mentioned on the SYNC 3 earlier, we also have some videos on how to use the, on the active park assist and some other technologies like that uh, there as well. So check those out. And there's some, also some videos about Law MacArthur's a dealership and what you expect and what we do. Uh, so do check those out when you get a chance.